Good morning, hope you guys having a fantastic day. Today we're having a look at this little thing. Are you a vlogger and you have a shotgun mic and you always have to switch it around when you're talking behind the camera and when you do this, you can't hear anything and then you gotta switch around. Or maybe you're talking to somebody and you wanna be able to have a conversation with them on camera and also have the dead cat and have good quality audio. Well, me too. That's why I got this baby. It's called the Dairy V4 Duo and it has Two microphones, look at that. So you put one and goes straight to the person you're talking to and this one goes to you. So in theory, it should be great, right? It's everything we've been looking for as vloggers. Well, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna start this vlog and you're gonna see for yourself what it's like. Okay, so this is what I use normally, is the Video Micro Rode and I absolutely love this thing. The Dead Cat is awesome very dependable, I've been using this and it's the best one I've ever found. So right now I'm talking behind the camera using this small microphone on the Deity V4 and I'm gonna have to do this in post uh, where I choose the right channel to be stereo because it separates the microphones so the front one is the left channel and the back one is the right channel. I'm gonna have a conversation with my wife can you say something? Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? And this is all done real time. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're going to a barber shop. Oh yeah, I need to get a shave. <laughs> we need to get some coffee. We're gonna get some really good oh, coffee yeah, today. Oh yeah, coffee is to die for. Awesome. I'm gonna get a haircut in three, two, one. Ooh. What are you getting? Oh, my favorite rose lemonade. Which they one? Coke? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll grab that as well. Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Can we get, uh, what do you want? I think I'll go for a large cappuccino. Large cappuccino? You want some special flavor for your cappuccino? Uh, I'll just go for a bog standard one. What about you? I'll have the medium size and the almond cappuccino. You have uh, one uh, free cookie okay. for one each, for, for each. each hot drink. Okay. Yeah. So is this one, which one's the better one? Well, I love <laughs> chocolate ones. <laughs> All are. I'll take the chocolate one. For you, lady? Yeah, yes. we'll go for the brownies as well. The brownies Why are really not? good. What? Go big or go home. <laughs> Oh, nice. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your coffee. Uh, coffee. Thank you, we'll do, we'll do for sure. Oh yeah, I really do like this coffee. Now we're outside here, it is very bright, but there is a little bit of wind and I wanted to test this microphone because there are cars behind me, so if you have the two-way microphone on, you have to switch around and make sure you can hear the person who's talking, which is probably you or anyone you're interviewing or talking to. I wonder if you're picking up that wind. First time I took out this microphone, it was catching some wind from the side, which was very surprising and annoying, you know, looking at it. It does have the dead cats, but when you buy this piece of equipment, this microphone, it does say that you can only use it in winds up to 15 miles an hour. And that's something that a lot of people don't really know. With the road, you can do it in much higher, much worse scenarios and still have fairly good audio. I always forget to take sunglasses with me. I have a little monitor on the side where I tend to look at and see the framing and you know, just taking my eye off you guys. But this is to test the microphone. So the, basically the, the main microphone, the shotgun mic, this is what it sounds like with a little bit of wind. It's not too windy, so if it's picking up quite a bit of wind, then there you go. That's a problem with this microphone that I've had. And if it's not picking up any wind, I'll show you a clip right now of what happened the other day when I was using it to record something. 
Now it is a bit windy today, so apologies for the wind noise if you can hear it. We're just gonna do a quick overview outside and we'll get inside the car if that is bothering you. Now, Audi has done an absolute amazing job at specking out this car. Audi Bahrain always specs out their test cars really well, and this one is no different. Oh, and this is also what it sounds like when I'm speaking to someone who's a bit further away. So, Aga, did you enjoy your coffee? How was the food? The food or the coffee? Both. Amazing. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing today? I'm going to drive you back home and then I'm going to pick a play I told you I'm basically a driver. Yeah, she's basically the driver now of the house. And you have to take me tomorrow to the warehouse, by the way, in the morning. I am super pumped right now after that coffee. It always gets me going. So yeah, that was the audio. This is inside a closed area. It usually does pretty well. I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna do a really good job with that. But now, since I got all this energy, we're gonna go out for a little run and jog and see how it copes with a little bit of more wind. Yes. All right, back at the compound, and now I'm going to go for a little run, and I'm running on a stereo. So both microphones are on right now, and let's listen to it. Hello, Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm recording. <laughs> Woo. A little jog. Okay, and now I'm going to turn on only the front mic that's facing me, and we'll see what it sounds like. Come on. Just running, holding a camera, nothing awkward, just normal vlogger things. <laughs> All right, let's go listen to what that sounds like. I'm gonna show you guys how to edit the audio so that you can use whichever mic you want to if you have both of them on at the same time. Okay guys, so we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm going to show you how to edit the audio. So this has already been edited, so I'm just gonna click F and then I'm just gonna drag this over here and now this is the original file, how it came out from the camera and as you can see, the left one has more audio coming out from it because I'm speaking to the left channel, which is the front facing microphone. Now, if I don't want the background, I'll just go back here and into audio channels and I'll switch. See here, it's taking from the other microphone. So I'll switch it over here. So this is your media source channel. That's which microphone is being used in this case. And here is your output. So you want just everything to come out from what you're, or in this case, I am saying. And if you're behind the camera and you're using the second mic, you just click to the right and it will only get the audio from that microphone. Now, if you would like to create a mix, all you have to do is click on your clip, hold Alt, drag down, and now you have two of the same audio clips and you just go and do the same, go to audio channels once again, choose one for the left side and then audio channels for the other one and choose one for the right side. So you have both microphones in separate files here and then you can add your audio post-processing to that and then you know just adjust the audio accordingly to whatever you're, you're trying to capture. Pretty cool stuff. It does take a little bit longer while editing, so just keep that in mind. It is a pretty good piece of kit. I do like that you can just switch around the camera and move from one microphone to the other. It does require a little bit more in post, uh, but it's not too bad after you get used to it here. You can see that you got those buttons so you can put it on just normal shotgun mode and here on the twin shotgun mode. But there are some problems with wind and I'm not really sure why? And I think it's kind of where the connection is here in the middle. If you have both of the cats on, you still have a little bit of a gap here in between. And I'm not sure, maybe the wind is going in there and hitting one of the microphones or both of them. But yeah, with wind, it's not so great. Pretty good when there's no wind. When there's wind, unfortunately, it's not as reliable as the road. And, uh, and yeah, so be careful when you're buying these. Uh, be mindful of where you shoot. If you're mostly indoors, then this would be pretty much a good option. 
Um, but if you're outdoors, which I am usually most of the time, yeah, you got to be careful with this one. So yes, I'm still going to be using it from time to time, but I'm still probably going to stick with my road and uh, switch it around whenever I need to for recording or vlogging or anything like that. All right, guys, I hope this video answered your questions about the Diety V4 Duo. Um, I'm still going to be using it, most probably more indoors than outdoors. When it comes to outdoors, I can always rely on the micro uh, from Rode, and that's what I'm using right now, and that's pretty much going to still be my daily driver. If this video helped you, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think of the duo if you have one, and uh, if this video helped you out, thank you so much, and take care.